Welcome to the Branding Blackboard, where we share practical branding knowledge with marketers and business owners. Today we're going back to the basics, identifying your target audience. In other words, who are the people you'd like to buy your product or service? Because simply put, branding is about making decisions that will make your business appeal to your target audience. To build a target audience profile, it is as easy as making a list. Here's a tip. Be as specific as possible. We'd all love for our target audience to be between the ages of 6 to 90, both male and female, and located anywhere in the world. But by narrowing down your target audience to your ideal client, you can focus your marketing budget on a smaller section and yield much better results. Your return on investment is guaranteed to be higher this way. Plus, it'll make branding easier and simpler for you in the long run. Think ideal client. So in today's example, we look at a business that sells billboard space. Here are some of the questions that we can ask. What is their gender most likely to be? Well, in this case, male. What age bracket would they fall into? For this scenario, between 30 to 40 years. What job title will they most likely have? Well, since our ideal client in this scenario handles big budgets, we'd say marketing director. Which industry are they in? Ideally, they'd be in the large-scale event coordination industry, such as exhibitions, concerts, major sporting events, etc. What is the purpose of their job? Well, in summary, to market an event for increased sales. Where would they ideally be located? In this example, Brisbane CBD. Which social media platform do they most often use? In this case, we're going to say Twitter because it is the easiest way for them to stay up to date on other big events and also to make international connections. What hobbies does your ideal client take part in? In this case, we're going to say running because as a marketing director in a fast-paced environment, essentially they're going to have to be quite fit. Secondly, wine tasting. It's another essential for events management, plus it's a good way to connect with other high-end clients. And thirdly, photography. It's also another aspect of events management and it's quite creative. Which three things about their work do they really enjoy? We're going to say firstly, creative campaigns, because that's going to add to their portfolio and draw in other high-end clients. Secondly, reporting positive campaign results to satisfy clients. Obviously, the more satisfied your clients are, the more repeat business they'll do with you. And thirdly, the fast pace of the environment. Which three things about their work do they not enjoy? Firstly, unrealistic deadlines. Secondly, unnecessary meetings that take up time. And thirdly, miscommunication of ideas. If you're in the business to consumer market instead of the business to business market, you will obviously have different questions at points three, four, and five. These are just a few questions you can answer about your ideal client. Feel free to elaborate on them and to add more to further flesh out your ideal client. The point is that the answers will help you target your marketing message and sales process to your ideal client. For example, from the answers above, we know that in this case, the marketing department will focus their energy on Twitter more than any other social media channel. Perhaps they will invite a client to a wine tasting event instead of trying to set up that initial meeting. And thirdly, they will highlight their reliable and fast turnaround service to accommodate tight deadlines in their marketing messages. So you might be thinking, well, where do I find this information? Quite simply, research and building relationships. Which clients do you currently work with that you love to have 10, 20, 100, 1,000 more of? What do they comment on? Build a relationship with them so that you get to understand who you are talking to. 
it's also a very good idea to get your sales team involved in this exercise as they will have a good understanding of your ideal target audience. Now the next step is to visualize your ideal client. It sounds slightly strange, but by putting together images of your ideal client, their hobbies, their likes and their dislikes, you are going to keep them front of mind while you do your marketing strategies and all of your marketing collateral. Pin it up somewhere in the marketing department or on a wall close by. Trust me, this is what the big ad agencies do because it works. So there you have it, sweet and simple. I hope you've enjoyed today's branding blackboard and keep an eye out for the next one coming soon.